My name is Lorena Hegedus, and I am the director of Hubbard Public Library. So Hubbard Public Library is a library that is very, very woven into the heart of this community. So we are a fairly rural community. We do have a little town here, but fairly rural. Hubbard Public Library has diversified its resources and even the way we reach our patrons. We still have all of the traditional collection, books, DVDs, things like that. But starting several years ago with a vision of my children's librarian, we opened up a toy lending library. So that means all of the, the pieces of that collection are basically toys, but they're educational toys. So that opened during the pandemic, actually, and was a huge resource to families while their kids were homeschooling and um, virtual schooling and so forth. They had some extra activities to supplement or just entertain <laughs> their children and families. Beyond the library walls, pieces of our expanding collection are our outdoor activities. And the Story Walk is a huge piece of that. The Story Walk has a dozen posts where pieces of a book are posted. So along with the story, as families, children, individuals walk through the Story Walk, they're reading a story and they're also engaged in additional activities that they can do along the walk. And in that Story Walk, we have interspersed the sunflower petal drums from percussion play <laughs> that are used and just lovely to hear. Story Walk is actually a trademarked name and was formulated by someone that we have just patterned after and uh, used those, the story posts and everything. So during the pandemic, and I would say as much as the pandemic had negative aspects to it, there were some positives that uh, caused us to be creative thinkers. And how can we still provide library services that keep people safe, engaged, outdoors? Um, so that kind of accelerated our outdoor plans. Sensory aspects are another piece of the vision and ways of engaging our patrons. We do have some people that need additional sensory impact or um, engagement. And the story walk is great, but the fact of sometimes whether it's touchy-feely things or auditory um, stimulation, things like that. So everything that we have done, we have tried to pull in as many aspects of that sensory impact that we could. So it just made sense to find something auditory. And then in the research we've done, percussion play kept <laughs> coming up. And those sunflower pedal drums were just visually uh, attractive. And then Again, the, the look of the sun, sunflower petal drums, as well as just how they're used, just seem to be the most um, applicable to what we needed. We are very fortunate that the folks that come into our library are all generations. So we see a lot of that family aspect. We see a lot of um, multi-generational family aspects. We see individuals. We see just... Two days ago, in fact, I was downstairs, glanced out across and looked at the garden and there was a fellow there probably 45 years old, just by himself, you know, no, no kiddos or whatever. So it, it is attractive that the pedal drums, by virtue of just their brightness, people pull into the library, the way our entrance drive is, you can see that first thing. And that alone, just like, oh, what's down there? <laughs> you know, people want to see it. So yes, it does attract all ages, all generations. It's really cool because even if folks don't want to be engaged with the story itself and reading, or maybe they get halfway through and they get a little distracted or whatever, because the pedal drums are basically halfway through, <laughs> through the story, um, those pedal drums are there. And you just see people really enjoying themselves and, and experimenting, which part of our mission of the library is to engage people with expanding their creativity, all of those types of aspects, not just sitting and reading. So anything that we can put somewhere in the library or on the grounds that allows people to see the library in a different light and engage in different ways besides just reading, it's, it's really nice.